there are two sets of factors affecting political decisions that affect the economy and that affect fiscal policy, both at the national level and at the supranational level, at the European level. Uh, in a recent book published by the IMF, uh, we've seen with empirical evidence that there are three sets of factors that are very important. First, the electoral calendar, when decision makers get together to analyze what type of fiscal policy are they going to do for their countries and how is the reform of the monetary union going to take place. Electoral factors, how are elections and how is the voters, how are the voters, uh, you know, positioned vis-a-vis -vis that new step in the European construction are going to be important. Second factor are uh, typically political divisions. So there may be that there are political divisions, not only ideological, but fragmentation. If you have a government that is in coalition, it's more difficult to negotiate a specific position than with a government that has you know, a unitary uh, voice in this respect. So having around the table members that have a strong governments is probably a good step forward. Um, finally, uh, ideological differences, not only left and right, but about whether you believe in a more integrated monetary union, meaning you believe in more Europe, or whether you prefer to maintain an intergovernmental compact. This is going to be crucial because in the end, reforming fiscal governance at the European Union is about a vision in the long term. So these are probably the three factors that are going to be more important. My impression is that uh, the EMU is going to develop uh, a new uh, fiscal arm, fiscal compact, a set of fiscal decisions to improve fiscal governance in the Eurozone. <clears throat> this will probably be based on the report of the five presidents and the work that the European Commission has been doing and publishing. There is already a good amount of intellectual work on which decision makers can base their decisions. Probably we will have a decision on whether there is going to be a Euro area minister and there is going to be a single voice in international organizations represent, uh, represented and representing the European Union in the Euro area countries. Second thing would be a decision about the creation of a central fiscal capacity to respond to asymmetric shocks and maybe linked to an unemployment insurance for the Eurozone as well. Finally, there has to be a decision about whether the budget of the European Union is going to be increased or linked to the central capacity or not. And uh, well, hopefully, what we will see is a development that takes place in steps, but fast and decisively. Mm -hmm.